G'day Art Adventurers, my name is Christopher, I'm the artist behind A Art Adventure and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're here for the first time. I'm doing an art collab today with a whole range of different art YouTubers. We have met on the Art Room Discord server, that's a place started by Hello Alice and Jellybee, and if you're an art YouTuber, you're welcome to also join. I'll leave the link down below for you. But one of the sections of that server is to be able to work together on art collabs. And today's art collab is the brainchild of Art by Esther A. She created a whole range of different photos or found a whole range of different photos that we're able to make art from. And we voted on which one we liked the most and most votes went to a beautiful water lily. I'll insert the reference photo up for you to be able to see, and you can also see behind me what I've ended up creating. I've changed things quite a bit. The other artists are working in a whole range of different media, and I have gotten acrylic gouache. So you can see me starting to put down layers of acrylic gouache here. Not really familiar or that experienced with this art medium. In fact, this is the second time I've ever tried it. So it's quite challenging for me, but I had a lot of fun with it and I'm really happy with what I've ended up with here. The other artists are doing a whole range of different things. I think even one person's doing a sculpture, but we've got color pencils and pastels and markers and mixed media and a whole range of different things for you to check out. The artists involved are Wonderful Art, she's Polish but lives in Ireland, Kawaii Phantom, another fellow Aussie and you've seen me collab with her before, Oana's Illustrations from Romania, M's Art Studio, she's British or English I believe but she lives in Sweden, Monique Renee Art, an American who lives in Boston I believe, and Orti who's also an American. So, and I'm Australian and I live in um, the USA. So, or currently live in the USA. So I'm so excited that we've got a whole range of uh, artists from all over the world here doing a whole range of different media. The internet is so cool. And I hope you'll go check out their channels. I'll put a link to the playlist or links to the other artists below or both. So I guess the the trick with acrylic gouache if you haven't ever used it before is to think of it like acrylic paint it really is a kind of acrylic paint but it dries matte and ends up looking like gouache when it's finished but it's acrylic because it's it's got that plastic acrylic chemical substance in it that makes it um, dry really rapidly and you can't move it and you can't lift it but you can layer it. So you can put on layer after layer after layer, but with gouache, you can't. Uh, every time you try to put on a new layer, the water will activate the layer below and things will start to mix together. Unless you let things dry and you only go over once. And, and you know, there's all sorts of tricks and tips that you can use to get around the challenges of different media but most people find that it's hard or impossible to layer with gouache, but it's really easy with acrylic gouache. And so I took advantage of that by painting over at least three different layers in different parts of this painting. That was really cool and fun to experience. The downside is, at least I find, that the layers dry really, really quickly. So I'm more used to using watercolors and spreading the, the pigment or paint out over time or re-wetting areas and blurring and mixing different things using wet on wet techniques. You can't really do that with this. You can sort of do it to a limited degree, but you know, wait 10 seconds and it's dry. So you really have to work pretty quickly and you have to plan ahead. If you look at my palette, occasionally you'll see that it just instantly goes blank again as well because the paint really dries firmly in a plastic palette like this one as well. And so every like half an hour to an hour, I would go and, and clean up and wash out the, the acrylic paint and get a clean palette again before it really got too hard and too dry. 
In terms of the art itself, you can see that I really diverged from the reference photo in terms of colour. I really wanted to do something a little bit different and have some fun with this and so I actually inverted the colours using um, a photo editing program that's free called XNView. I'll leave a link down below for that as well and I'll put the reference photo up that I used to, to get a kind of idea of these inverted colours. I didn't really stick 100% to that. I just wanted a guide of what might look good. So there's a cool tool in that program where you can just slide along different hues and see all sorts of different colour variations. And I got to one point where the lily pads had turned quite vibrant pink and the water lily flower had become quite blue. And so I decided to go with that. By the way, if you're curious about water lilies and what kind of flowers they are, I'm not an expert in that area, but I used to always get confused by what is a water lily and what is a lotus flower. If the flower is growing right on the water's surface, like in this photograph, it's a water lily. And if the flower grows up on a stalk and grows out of the water, it's a lotus flower. And so hopefully that helps you if you've ever been confused. Maybe I'm the only one that's ever been confused by that. I don't know. So by this stage, I've gotten down my first couple of layers, but I want the flower to stand out a little bit more. And I give it some thought and I realize that I actually have another acrylic wash set. I got both of these in a lucky bag, a, a bag of art materials that you get quite cheaply, or not just art materials, just a bag that you get cheaply at New Year's when you live in Japan, where I used to live. And this one is from an art store and it had hundreds of dollars worth of art supplies in it for about $45 US. And two of the things were acrylic gouache. I'd never used it before. Um, this set, which I first used in October last year for one of my Inktober pieces. I'll try to remember to put a card up and a link to that. Um, it was when I did the prompt word swollen and painted a little baby hippo and it ended up being so cute. I was really happy with it. And then this set that's on screen um, in a second, um, I've never used before, but it has a gold in it. And so I remembered that I had this gold acrylic gouache that I could maybe use to get the, the lily flower, I almost said lotus, the lily flower to pop out and to, to really stand out a little bit. Plus, you know, I love shinies, I love metallics, and I love how it now shimmers in the light on the edges of the flower. And I also pushed the contrast a little bit further by following this up, by edging all of that gold in a dark purple. And I'm really pleased with that effect. I really enjoyed it. So I also decided to do some edging work and some different techniques on the lily pads as well. And so I end up with something that I'm really, really proud of and really happy with this piece. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this as well. If you have, I would love if you gave me a like. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and pressing the notification bell so you can see more of my art. I do all sorts of different things in all sorts of different mediums, although I probably like watercolors the most, but lots of art box, art box subscription unboxings, lots of new materials, lots of color pencils, watercolor, acrylic paint markers, pastels, all sorts of different things, and all sorts of different subjects from animals to nature, flowers, to character design, all sorts of different stuff. So please consider subscribing to my channel and I'd love to see you as part of the Art Adventurer gang. And don't forget as well, of course, to check out the other wonderful YouTubers. I'm so excited to be able to see what they've come up with. It's so cool when you do an art collab and you get to see the other videos and the other art and how people interpret things. But I think if you're just watching this, it's so fascinating to see the same reference photo tackled by different artists in different ways and what different people see in something. I think it's really fascinating. And I hope that you'll take some time to check out those other artists as well and see what they've done. 
So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure. Bye!